Alrighty. Getting into this first match. We are finally damn here. Uh, is my shit gonna work? All right, there we go. We are starting it off on Batcave. Now, this is going to be the first two tournament I have ever hosted. So, commentary is probably gonna be a little bit weird. I'm gonna be focusing on the players that I can see the most, doing the most, of course. So, I mean, right now, Techie's already got 98%, and I don't even know where the shit came from. Let's see if we can pay a little bit more attention. Gets the up special into the up air. That will be enough to take the stock, but Techie also lost his stock at the exact same time, so it will be one-to-one -one in the stock count. And Batcave is a very easy map to kill off of the top. Um, the ceilings are very low, and Arya and uh, Steven do very well with killing off the top, especially with both of their up specials being very good. Speaking of Arya getting an up special, getting both hits on both characters, be doing a lot of extra damage right there. Techie going to be trying to get the Rose effect as much as possible because if you can get your opponent bubbled, Arya can get some pretty good follow-ups after she can, uh, if she can actually get the timing right after they pop out of the bubble. It gets the knife stick. That's also going to be a very key factor in this matchup. Any Anytime Steven is in play, he does have that block button unless he gets his shield broken by three hits. So if you're, if you're trying to swing a lot of the time and your opponent, just like that, it's going to be blocking... You got to be careful when you're pulling the trigger on all these attacks because it, it actually makes this game pretty unsafe, which is something that it is not most of the time because all you will see is dodge, 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 attack, attack, attack. Vegan Steven going to be getting knocked off the top, gets the up special into the knife stick, into another up special into the up air, but not going to be able to kill. But Techie following up with the up special of his own. That shield is very strong. It has a good amount of knockback, and it is going to take that stock at a very early percent. Techie and Feisty going up, or Feisty going up, game number one. Alrighty, but getting into this second match, we are going to be seeing my favorite map, Trophy's Edge. And Arya already has that knife stick, but it is going to be on his teammate. So that means that Arya will not have to worry about any cooldown. That is the beauty. That is the beauty about Arya in twos. If you really know your okay, as I'm saying that, he throws his knife off the map. But if you know that your teammate is capable of just running, like if you whiff your knife and it hits the ground, your teammate can run over it and it will stick to them, and you will not have any cooldown. And that is something that a lot of uh, teammates that play with Arya need to start doing a lot more because that 25 second cooldown on that knife is not something you want. Arya definitely needs her knife to be doing doing all that damage and getting these early kills. And Steven, he needs his shields to be getting those early kills. And you can see one is already on the screen. And Jake does have that. Um, I might have to change the colors from yellow because I can't see the names. But uh, Methuselah is Jake. He already had that rose effect on him, but it's going to be going away now. But so is resilience is stock. Okay, gets the knife stick. All he has to do is get him in the skies and he will be dead. And no, going to be getting hit by the shield. So he's not going to be able to get that kill confirmed with the up special into the up air. Now, Finn... Uh, Resilience does not have any gems right now. He does not have any coins. So he's going to have to get those if he wants to be as annoying as possible with Finn because although his up attack and his all his attacks that he can run with are very annoying, Jim is what makes him an, a really annoying character. I don't know so much about in twos, but in ones for sure, that is an annoying-ass character to deal with, especially with Jim. Okay, but Methuselah going to be losing that stock off of the side. I'm not sure what move it was to. We are seeing... Mr. Fifey or Fifi do a lot of damage with this Arya right now. They're going to have to try to get something to stop this man, but it is only a best of three. This is their last game if they lose this, but as I am saying that, Methuselah getting that Sarah onto Mr. Fifi, sending him off the side of the map, and they have the lead. It gets the block into the up air. Five out of ten on that Rose effect on Mr. Resilience. It gets the Sarah hitting both of the characters. Running, charging that neutral attack. Hits him with the up uh, the up, up attack as well. 8 out of 10 on the Rose Effect. He cannot get hit twice or he will get bubbled. One more and that will be enough. But the Sayer all the way off the right side of the map will be enough. I'm not sure if he had any resources. He definitely should have because he wasn't neutral that whole time. But not able to even dodge out of that uh, Sayer hit stun. So he's got to be really careful here. Has 8, of 10. 8 out of 10 on the Rose Effect. Two more hits, one more hit, and that will be a bubble for him. Yes, he only have they only have to worry about one more player, and they are trying to target him right now as Resilience is flying up to the sky. We are seeing the attack decay, but Methuselah somehow taking that, stealing it as they tie up the set count one to one. Ban Steven, ban Steven, ban Arya, ban Arya. Anyways, getting back into uh, the set, we do have. Um, we are seeing Trophy's Edge one more time, so I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see if um, the blue team will be able to do something different because they did lose that last game, and I'm sure they do not want to lose this uh, this this set already in winners round one and get sent to losers. 
Gets the knife into the teleport. Gets it down there into the up special up air right after it. Great combo for Mr. Fifi. And that Sayer? Did that was that Sayer that just killed off the top? What the hell was that? Yeah, I can watch your match threes. I will be down to do so. Teleports to the knife. Gets it down there into the up special up air. One of the greatest combos from Miss Arya Stark. Becky sitting at 112%, and that is that is a very good thing. I'm telling you, when you have that block button on Steven, it is so good to bait your opponent into throwing out these attacks that just become unsafe when you hit that shield from Steven Universe. But you got to be really careful, man. Fifi is not DIing these up attacks that he's getting hit by very well. He is getting sent straight upwards. And Arya, the lightest character in the game, she can die very easily on any map, even a map like Trophy's Edge with a very high ceiling. But that up air almost killing... Uh, almost killing Methuselah off the top. Getting hit with the Sair is Fifi. Teki trying to do everything he can in his power to block right now, but getting hit by a Nair into a down air. No combo after it, though. 108% on Methuselah, and he does have a Tactic on his Sairs. Getting killed off the top with that charged up attack from Finn. You have to be careful when you see Finn running throughout the stage with all those moves being charged. You got to be careful, man. You, getting hit by another up special. Or, oh my god, Teki having so much attack decay on that up special is not, definitely not going to be enough to kill, but since he just died, it is going to be able to reset. Speaking of reset, all of these stocks have been reset, and it is an even game. A lot of even percentage, but I think that's a d attack decay on that dare right there from Teki. So, not going to be seeing too much combo potential out coming from the dares, but the nares and the bubble shields and the up airs. And that up special will be enough to up air into the up special. Teki ending the game in a very dominant fashion from himself. 2-1 in that set count. Going to be sending Resilience and Methuselah to losers bracket. Great games from both players. Well, I guess not both players, from all four players. This is a twos tournament now.